What's up everybody, Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to access your widgets from within any screen or application on your Android device by simply swiping down on the status bar. To get started, all you need is a device running Android 4.1 or above and this free application called Snap Widget Drawer. Once you launch it, it's quite simple to set up. Just hit the addition sign. You'll be presented with a list of all the widgets currently available on your device and just go through and select the ones you want to add. Once added, you can go ahead and rearrange them how you want by simply tapping and holding and just dragging them to a new location in the list. And if you want to remove any, you can just swipe them away and take them off of the list. Now with the free version, you're only allowed up to three widgets, but with an in-app purchase of 185, you can get unlimited widgets and also remove ads. Now before we start using the app drawer, or sorry, widget drawer, go ahead and enter the preferences. From within here, you can reduce animations once activated on the activation area, which we're going to designate right now with activation areas. Now you can have up to two activation areas. I prefer the left or the right just because my notification shade or drawer is right there. So I can just access it from this side or the right side. So now you can go ahead and get your widgets from right there from within any application. Maybe you're surfing the web go ahead and just pull down and get them from anywhere and that includes the lock screen although you will need to unlock the device to actually use any of the actions or launch any of the actions or launch any application it still is accessible and people can view content so just be aware of that when you're placing stuff in there but as you can see I can go ahead and open it interact with my widgets like I normally would play some music and just use it like any other widget now since my home screen or my grid layout is four by four, any widget that's less than four in width kind of looks a little off because they essentially look how they will on your home screen. So if you have a small widget, it's gonna look small in here. It may not be consistent with the layout. So just be aware of that. And hopefully the developer does update the application since it's so new. And if you wanna keep up with the developer, check out this guide over at Gadget Hacks and check out his community page on Google+. But definitely give us a like, subscribe, to check out more awesome Gadget Hack videos, and don't forget to check out the full guide over at GadgetHacks.com. Thanks, guys.